So I don't know if you listen to Kansas City Sports Radio. I don't know if you listen to Columbus Sports Radio since we're in Columbus. No. Okay. Um, sports radio has been dying a slow death. It died in Columbus. There's one um, option. They, exactly. So apparently this dude, what's his name? Kevin Keitzman. He's a Kansas City radio show host. Um, and I, in, in the notes. Yeah, I'm looking at the notes. I said, like, uh, Kevin Keitzman, KC radio show host should burn in hell. There's that. Um, this guy is the biggest piece of human trash alive right now. I'm sure there's bigger. But, you know, as far as sports radio goes, we'll, we'll say that. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, they were there. There was a segment that they were doing where they were talking about the possible return of Tyreek Hill to the Chiefs. And because apparently uh, I think it was Yahoo Sports reported that he could be back um, before training camp. So that was the initial. Report. I didn't know he was suspended. Apparently, I don't know. Well, I don't know what the deal is. So they were talking about the possible return. He's going to be he's going to be there for training camp. Um, and Kevin Keitzman is the host of Between the Lines, an afternoon radio show on sports radio 810 WHB in Kansas City. He's also listed as I believe they're like vice president of the radio station. So it was good of him to give himself a radio show. Yeah. Um. In this whole thing, he starts talking about Andy Reid and his lack of discipline and the Chiefs organization for their lack of discipline, which we have talked about. Yep. I never said Andy Reid. I always said the Chiefs organization. Yeah. From from the top, from Hunt down. Yeah. Um, but he got into Andy Reid and why Andy Andy Reid quote wasn't great at discipline. Now I don't have it set up special, so I hope it plays well on the mic. Um. But I pulled up the the Deadspin article. And in the Deadspin article, they have the audio from what he said about Andy Reid. It's 26 seconds, so I'll just play it in its entirety. You tell me how much of a piece of shit this guy is. Andy Reid does not have a great record of fixing players. He doesn't. Discipline is not his thing. It did not work out particularly well in his family life. That needs to be added to this. As we're talking about the Chiefs, he wasn't real great at that either. He's had a lot of things go bad on him. Family and players. He is not good at fixing people. He is not good at discipline. That is not his strength. His strength is designing football plays. So you tell me, wow. did he bring up the death of his son, basically saying that Andy Reid can't discipline his kids into not killing themselves yeah. because of an overdose of heroin in 2012? Am I getting too specific for you? Well, no. no. Or, or is that basically what that's, he said? That's exactly what he said. Okay. So there's that. Let, let's, let's stick with this. And this is why this Kevin Keitzman, not only, not only just that, if that's your opinion, and you want to put it on the air, that's on you, okay? But when you come out, and after he starts taking shot after shot, because people lost their shit about it. Well, they should have. They absolutely should have, because if you listen to it, that's how I took it. Yes. If you want to talk about Andy Reid is really bad at, at disciplining his players, and, and he has a history you, of, you of keep, doing that on the keep, field. You keep it to football. The minute you bring somebody's family, and not only somebody's family, but somebody's dead son? Here's the thing. We all know that Donald Trump is Donald Trump. And we all know there's a lot of people that hate him. Yeah. And, and that's fine. They, people hated Obama. But the minute I hear people talk about his youngest son, who's on like 11 or 12, yeah. I tell them you're wrong. No, you that's you're, a, you're wrong. Yeah. When I agree they with when that. they talked about uh Obama's kids, I said you're wrong. Yeah. You want to talk about him? His their wives are fair game because yeah. they're called the first lady. Yeah. The minute you step outside of that scope and go to someone's kids, and this who, is football. Who the minute can't, you, who can't defend themselves. No, no you're wrong. And yeah. then and then you go to this man's son who had a heroin overdose. Yeah. How is that this guy's fault? How is it? How is it your place or my place to talk about it on this microphone and uh, basically blame him for it? Yeah. If I'm Andy Reid, I'm gonna go to Old Hunt since he don't mind when people hit people, 
And I'm gonna tell you, when I see this dude, I'm gonna go ahead and whoop his ass. So that's you might absolutely. as well call the league now absolutely. and tell him suspend me for however long. But I got to beat his ass. And this, and instead of after taking heat, instead of going out either I retract it either, a little bit, either live or on Twitter or whatever, and apologize, yes. whatever. This is he sent out a three section like his tweet he was so du- long. He doubled down. D- holy hat, holy hat. Come on, you just made fun, basically, and called him a bad parent because his kid died of a heroin overdose. You're going to start with Holy Hat? Anyway, Holy Hat, what's going on here? I never mentioned one word about the tragic death of Andy Reid's son and quickly corrected a caller who did. I was talking about the owner's record of, quote, fixing players, the team's record, and Andy's record. I was referencing the drug addiction and convictions for dealing drugs. When they served time and Reed hired them to work for his football teams, it was no longer a private matter. But blaming a parent for the death of their child in these circumstances is unthinkable and reprehensible, period. It was never mentioned or discussed and never entered my mind. It, takes me, uh, it makes me sad that somehow that's what some of you thought I was saying. That would be despicable. All he did was go, what are you, what? What are you talking about? I never said Andy Reid's son's name. I never said he died and it was Andy Reid's fault. No, but you danced around it like a fucking pussy that you are yes. and you deserve to get that ass beat. Yes, he does. What, what, I mean, what he should have did was, hey, I was out on I'm not line. advocating for people to go out and beat this dude's ass. Oh, but... I, no, not people. I said Andy Reid should. No, Andy Reid absolutely yeah, should. Yeah, I didn't say people should. Andy Reid, if you're That's watching, like, you yeah, should go, just, just go whoop that. his ass. You good? And this, and this is the reason why I said I'm this close to dropping the Dolphins as my favorite team just for one season. Because I want to see Andy Reid take the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. First win. off, that's not going to happen. You just have two favorite teams for one year. Because you ain't going nowhere on the fans. I know. You ain't going nowhere. I know. I like to talk shit. But. <laughs> be like me saying I'm getting rid of the Steelers. Right. Now, the Pistons' ass on you know what I'm saying? They don't like hey, support. Pistons, you're on notice. You're on notice. You're on notice. Yeah, but he should, that's just – he should have just apologized to the Reed and family. Moved on. And said, you know what? I should have kept it to football. If I'd have kept it to football and never said the F word, being family, none of this would be taking place. And I apologize to you, man. That's the that's best I could do. If you're still mad, then I can't do anything about that. Yep. And just went on. No, he just doubled down on a, like a certain somebody we know that got heavy Twitter fingers. <laughs> that may or may not have been referenced <laughs> earlier in the show. Heavy Twitter fingers. Yeah. I like Keyboard it. Keyboard gangsters. Like it. <laughs>